To thee the champion leader, most pure virgin Theotokos, who has received joy from God, and who has bestowed joy upon the Church of Christ, by the appearance of the fiery icon, and thereby protectest the faithful from fiery conflagrations, we cry out in hymns of praise, O Mother of God, whom we have named the unburnt bush, as one having invincible might and great mercy. Hasten to the aid of us who are in need of thy protection, and free from all dangers, those who cry out to thee. Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace, the unburnt bush, who deliver us from fiery conflagrations. Queen of the angels and of all creation, O Mistress, Lady Theotokos, who receives hymns of praise from the choirs of angels on high, vouchsafe us as well, who are earthly and mortal, to lift up the voices of praise and thanksgiving, for by thy many mercies to the human race, and if we are wor unworthy to hymn thee as is me, Yet, O thou who art good, do not disdain our inadequate praise, and as thy Son mercifully accepted the widow's two mites, so also in thy loving compassion hearken unto us who cry out to thee with contrition. Rejoice, thou who didst bear the divine fire within thy womb without being burnt. Rejoice, thou who givest birth to the Savior of fallen men. Rejoice, thou who didst abolish the power of Hades by thy most pure birth-giving. Rejoice, thou who didst free Adam and Eve from the ancient curse. Rejoice, thou who didst immaculately serve the incarnation of one of the Trinity. Rejoice, thou who didst seedlessly give birth to the Creator of heaven and earth. Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace, the unburnt bush, who deliver us from fiery conflagrations. Seeing the bush on Sinai burning, with fire yet not being consumed, Moses was filled with fear, and lo, a divine voice came to him from the bush, Put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Hearing this, we humbly, <clears throat> we humble ones confess the mystery of the incarnation of God, the Word, from the Most Pure Virgin, prefigured by the miracle of the unburnt bush, and with fear bow down before the place of the manifestation of God, crying out to the fashioner of all things, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The mind of man cannot comprehend the mystery of the providence of God, the redemption of fallen mankind foreordained from the creation of the world in the pre-eternal counsel of the trihopostatic Godhead, yet inspired by the Holy Spirit, the holy prophets of God foresaw the miracle of miracles, how the Creator would take the form of a servant, wishing to save the work of his hands from eternal perdition, announcing this through unerring prefigurations and prophecies of the accomplishment of the redemption of the race of man promised by the Redeemer. By the promised Redeemer, having lent flesh to him, O pure one, thou wast vouchsafed to be the mother of thy Lord, inspiring us to sing to thee. Rejoice, fiery palace of him who sitteth upon the cherubim, Rejoice, light-bearing chamber of him who commandeth the seraphim. Rejoice, couch of the great king, higher than the heights of heaven. Rejoice, animate throne of him who ruleth the heavenly and earthly. Rejoice, consecrated ark of the Godhead, greater than the holy of holies. Rejoice, vessel of all gold, in which the salvific manna of the flesh and blood of the divine lamb was kept. Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace, the unburnt bush, who deliver us from fiery conflagrations. Acting by the power of the Most High, O all good mistress, 
Thou stillest the force of the nature of the fire th through thy holy icon, and workest many miracles thereby throughout the whole world. Therefore the Christian race blesseth thee with voices of praise, and in sudden perils, especially in times of fiery conflagrations, hasten to thee in prayer, receiving timely aid from thee. For this reason we cry out in thanksgiving to Christ, the King of glory, who glorifieth thee, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Having great love for the people redeemed by the honorable blood of thy Son and God, O most pure Mother of God, thou hast received from him the power to direct and protect the Christian race. Thou art the mediatress of repentance for sinners before the Creator, the hope of salvation for the hopeless, swift help for those in misfortunes, a mighty seeker for the lost, and the protection of the whole world. To thee, our merciful and divinely beloved advocate, returning love for love, we say in humbleness of mind, Rejoice, joy of all people who dryeth the tears from the eyes of the suffering and sorrowful. Rejoice, calm haven, wherein those be stormed by the passions on the sea of life are saved. Rejoice, almighty assuager of the righteous anger of God that is, that is moved against us. Rejoice, thou who dost extinguish the flame of fire by the dew above thy prayers before the throne of the Almighty. Rejoice, thou who dost protect us from thunder and lightning through thy heavenly intercession. Rejoice, thou whose heavenly help is given fittingly to every soul that faithfully prayeth to thee. Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace, the unburnt bush, who deliverest us from fiery conflagrations. When the fiery storm cometh upon us suddenly and engulfeth our cities and villages in flames, then, O all my merciful Lady, hasten to the aid of us who are helpless, and through thine honorable icon protect and deliver us from fiery punishment, of which we are worthy due to the sins we have committed. We sinners have thee as a fearless intercessor, and set our hope on thee, and glorify in the power of thy prayers. We call out to the Savior of the world, who was born of thee. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. We hear of and see the great miracles <clears throat> that thou place that take place through thy icon, O all good queen, which thou grantest for us our consolation and defense of misfortunes. For lo, the strength of all consuming flames weaken, weakeneth before the graceful power of thy most pure image, which we have seen and experienced many times, calling thee the unburnt bush, in this depiction of this thine image, and hymning thee before it with a voice of praise thus. Rejoice, unsleeping intercessor before Christ God, who inclineth him to mercy for us. Rejoice, thou who dost turn away from our heads the punishment of God for our iniquities. Rejoice, thou who dost preserve us through thine honorable robe from every misfortune. Rejoice, thou who dost guard our dwellings from fire and lightning by the maternal protection of thy mercies. Rejoice, O merciful one, who does hearken to our voice of supplication in our sorrows and misfortunes. Rejoice, our mighty and swift helper in days of grievous trials. Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace, the unburnt bush, who deliverest us from fiery from congregations. Thine all honorable icon, a divinely moving star, O Theotokos Virgin, shineth forth in grace-filled manner throughout the whole world with a multitude of miracles, and enlighteneth the souls and hearts of men unto the knowledge of thy great mercy, whereby thou dost protect and defend the Christian race like a kind-hearted mother. Rejoicing over this, we give thanks to Christ God and to thee, his mother according to the flesh, whom he hath given to us, as a mother according to the Spirit, and we call out to him in profound contrition, Alleluia, 
See thine icon, O mistress, as a truly unburnt bush, unconsumed by fire, and by its present human habitations are made unburnable in the flames. Grace, the power to dampen the nature of fire, is given from on high to thee who hast held within thy womb the fire of the Godhead without being burnt. Thou hast shown this image of thy likeness to be a partaker of this same grace, Wherefore it has been named by believers the unburnt bush, which we honor as is me, and cry out to thee in praise. Rejoice, Rejoice inextinguishable candle ever, ever burning before the throne of the Lord in thy prayers for us. Rejoice, thou who dost enkindle our cold hearts with the fire of the love of God. Rejoice, thou who dost cool the stifling heat of our passions with the shade of thy prayers. Rejoice, thou who dost send down to us thoughts beneficial to the soul in times of sorrow and perplexity. Rejoice, thou who dost hasten to our aid in times of helplessness and danger when we have no one to help us. Rejoice, thou who dost snatch us from the destruction by thy mighty hand in the hour of sudden misfortune. Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace, the unburnt bush, who deliver us from fiery conflagrations. The Church of Christ proclaimeth thy miracles, O birth giver of God, which are greater in number than the sands of the sea and the stars of heaven. From the east even unto the west, thy name is praised for thy miracles. There is no city or country where the action of thy pow the power of God is not manifest through thee unto deliverance and salvation and to the enlightenment and healing of the people who bear the name of Christ, even more so thou art wont to work miracles through thy holy icons, and dost pour forth from them streams of mercy and benefits upon the suffering and ailing mankind. For this cause we glorify thee with sounds of spiritual hymns, and we cry out to thy Son and our God. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. In the refulgent light of thy of divine glory, O virgin and maiden, divine maiden, thou didst shine forth the pre-eternal child, holding the Lord Jesus Christ in thine arms. Surrounded by the choirs of angelic hosts, we see thee depicted in thine icon, mystically prefigured by the unburnt bush of Moses. Through this icon thou grantest grace-filled gifts to the faithful, saving them from fire and lightning, healing the infirm, comforting the sorrowful, and sending down all good and soul profiting gifts upon us. Wherefore we hymn thee with unceasing voices. Rejoice for the choir of angels and the race of men. Rejoice and keep festival over thee. Rejoice for thy glory surpasses the praise of heaven and earth. Rejoice thou who dost gaze down from the celestial heights with maternal love upon the whole world. Rejoice, thou who visitest the greatly sorrowful earthly veil with thy benefactions. Rejoice, thou who in thine innumerable good gifts forsakest not those despised and cast out. Rejoice, thou who in thy tender heartedness snatchest the hopeless from the pit of perdition. Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace, the unburned bush. Who deliver us from, from fiery conflagrations. Desiring to manifest his love for mankind, redeemed by his blood, the Lord has given us his most maculate mother as a protection and defense, and hath made her a tranquil refuge for every Christian soul that is sorrowing and in distress and in need of help and mercy. Knowing of this merciful ministry of thine to the Christian race, O all good mistress, we lift up our eyes to thee in our sorrows and stretch forth our hands in supplication, beseeching consolation from thee alone, that thou mightest save us by thy mediation from sorrows temporal and eternal, and vouchsafe those living on earth to sing to God in a sacred joy. Alleluia. 
Thou hast wondrously glorified with miracles thy holy icon known as the unburnt bush, O Theotokos virgin, through which thou dost preserve cities and villages from fiery conflagrations and lightning, and dost bless the homes of the faithful, in which the likeness of thy most pure countenance is reverently honored. For this reason we joyfully receive thy grace-filled image as a precious gift and honor it with due veneration and bless thee as is meet with these praises. Rejoice, receptacle of healing, containing a remedy for every infirmity. Rejoice, vessel of the sweet scent of Christ, who maketh fallen mankind fragrant. Rejoice, thou who looses the bond of sins for repentant sinners. Rejoice, thou who breakest the chains of the passions for those who labor for purity. Rejoice, nuns of virgins, and tranquil joy of mothers. Rejoice, defender of widows, and kind-hearted care for orphans. Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace, the unburnt bush, who deliverest us from fiery conflagrations. A strange thing it is to see how thine icon, painted on a board, and by nature subject to the effects of fire, manifesteth a power beyond nature, and by its presence quelleth the power of fire. Beholding in this the power of God, and thy action, and the action of thy prayers, we magnify the fashioner who exalteth thee, the God of all, who hath given us thy wonder-working image for our comfort and consolation, and thereby saveth us from fiery conflagrations, that we might ever call out to him in thanksgiving and praise. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The whole Christian world glorifieth thy name, O blessed, O most blessed, Mary Theotokos, and it is sweet and consoling for every believer to gaze upon the likeness of thy most pure countenance, through which thou art wont to manifest many and most glorious miracles. Lo, we humble ones too, seeing thy icon, bow down before it in, thy God, in the God-pleasing manner, and kiss it with love, hoping for succor and thy mighty intercession. Therefrom, especially in our times of helplessness, when because of our sins fiery conflagrations befall us suddenly, that saved by thee from destructive flames, we may cry out to thee with thankful lips. Rejoice, tabernacle of God, the word not made by hands, higher than the cherubim and surpassing the seraphim in holiness and purity. Rejoice, black cloud of the Son of Righteousness, through whom the Heavenly One cometh to earth, so as to lead us with himself to heaven. Rejoice, door to paradise, that by thy holy birth-giving openeth to fallen men. Rejoice, for heaven and earth united as one, with unceasing praise him thee and him who was born of thee. Rejoice, divine spring, flowing with the water of life, of which those who drink do not die. Rejoice, blessed vine, that hath budded forth the cluster of salvation, Pouring forth drops of the wine of immortality for men. Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace, the unburned bush, who deliverest us from fiery conflagrations. Thy glory exceedeth all praise, O most blessed and most glorified Mother of our Lord. The minds of the bodiless ones are at a loss how to hymn thee worthily. And this is yet more difficult for us earthly and mortal ones, but overcome by love for thee, we make bold to offer thee, as, a, as far as we are able, a hymn of praise and thanksgiving for thy many mercies toward the human race which thou hast loved and for whom thou ceasest not to do good, moving the faithful of all ages, to cry out to the Savior Christ who was born of thee, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Human
human rhetoricians are at a loss how to comprehend the great mystery of thine ever virginity, O birth giver of God, with the Lord hath, which the Lord hath hidden from the wise of this world, but revealed through faith to the humble and reverent, who are strangers to inquisitive examinations, and who preach thee in orthodox manner, and without doubt to be a virgin before giving birth, at the time of giving birth, and after giving birth, O mother and virgin, accept also our wholehearted confession of this, and strengthen us to follow thee by a chaste life and purity of heart, that we may be able to harmoniously hymn thee thus. Rejoice, snow white lily of virginity and purity, unfading blossoming heavenward. Rejoice, thou who dost guide those living toward, below toward virginity and purity. Rejoice, thou who hast wondrously joined within thyself motherhood and virginity. Rejoice, thou who dost preserve thyself immaculate and holy in both. Rejoice, leader of the choirs of monastics and God-pleasing virginity. Rejoice, chief of the regiments of virgins in purity of soul and body. Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace, the unburnt bush, who deliver us from fiery conflagrations. Arranging for the salvation of man, one of the Trinity deigned to take flesh of thee, O bride of God and mistress, glorifying human nature by sitting at the right hand of the Father on the throne of the Godhead as the only begotten Son. Yet he was also thy Son according to the flesh, and he hath glorified thee with a glory far surpassing all o glory. Being overshadowed by goodness, thou forgettest not the human race in thy prayers, but intercedest in prayer before the one Creator and Trinity, for all who <clears throat> faithfully sing a hymn of praise to him. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O Virgin Theotokos, thou art a bulwark for the choirs of virgins and the assembly of monastics, and for all who earnestly have recourse unto thee in prayer, and who reverently honor thy holy icon. Thou alone hast been given by the Lord the grace of advocacy for all, and the strengthening of all the faithful in virginity and purity. Therefore, lovers of chaste life, hasten to thy maternal protection from the storm of the passions and find in thee refuge for their souls, calling out to thee harmoniously. Rejoice, surpassing protectress of pious monks and nuns, and fervent mediator for them before God. Rejoice, constant helper for secret servants of God amid the world and their guide in spiritual struggles. Rejoice, instructress of youth in chastity and continence. Rejoice, rest and comfort for those reverent and advanced in years. Rejoice, thou who dost ever shadow the homes and families of Christians with thy good protection. Rejoice, thou who dost vouchsafe the faithful of all general ages thy kind-hearted care. Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace, the unburnt bush who delivereth us from fiery conflagrations. The Holy Church of Christ offereth thee an unceasing hymn of praise, O all hymn mistress, proclaiming thy mercies and miracles, wherewith thou hast enriched the whole world. Truly, who other than thee is quick to hear our prayerful supplications? But thou thyself art wont to forestall our supplications, having mercy and compassion upon those in need of thy holy aid, of which do not Deprive us, humble ones, who even now sing to the glory of thy name and cry out to God, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Thy refulgent icon, O most pure Mother of God, enlighteneth our souls, darkened by sin, with the radiance of divine miracles and with thy countless mercies, 
In this we acknowledge the omnipotence of the power of God, as thou art ever, ever ready to encourage us to repent and turn from evil deeds to the path of salvation, we entreat thee, O all good one, do not leave us to go astray into the thickets of sins and passions, but lead us to the tranquil haven and of pious and God-pleasing life, that we might worthily offer these, thee these gifts of a spiritual song. Rejoice, constrainer of our invisible enemies, by thy vigilant prayer. Rejoice, O thou who dost not permit them to master us through the violence of our mortal bodies. Rejoice, for the demons are in fear and trembling at thy holy name. Rejoice, for thine honorable icon by its presence banisheth all the power of the devil. Rejoice, thou who strengthenest the ascetics of piety in their spiritual warfare against the enemies of mankind's salvation. Rejoice, thou who helpest those who have faith in thee and love for thee at the hour of death. Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace, the unburned bush, who deliver us from fiery conflagrations. We confess thy holy icon to share in the grace of God, O Virgin, who art full of divine grace, and we readily celebrate the feast of its manifestation. Having revealed thyself in this image of the unburnt bush, thou dost show forth thy, thy power through thy miracles, preserving us from fiery flames and protecting our dwellings by its presence. Having it as a shield and bulwark, we bless thee, our mighty helper, with hymns of praise, and we cry out to our Savior, who was born of thee. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We hymn thee, O birth giver of God, our only hope and expectation. We proclaim thy mercy and do not conceal thy miracles. We glorify thine immeasurable goodness towards the Christian race, and we bless thy holy name as thou art truly poured forth from those who love thee, which filleth pious souls with a sweet spiritual fragrance. O mistress, make us fragrant too, who reek of sinful passions, and vouchsafe us with a pure heart and undefiled lips to cry out to thee. Rejoice, thou who pourest forth sweet and soul-saving myrrh, whereby God-loving hearts are anointed. Rejoice, thou who healest infirmities of soul and body by the touch alone of thy holy icon. Rejoice, good God, who directest repentant sinners to the path of pleasing God and salvation. Rejoice, ladder of the virtues, leading us set its of Christ up to the gates of the kingdom of heaven. Rejoice, thou who crownest humble and patient sufferers with grace-filled consolation. Rejoice, thou who sweetenest with a foretaste of paradisal blessedness those who are innocently cast out and persecuted. Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace, the unburned bush, who deliver us us from fiery conflagrations. O all hymned mother who gave his birth to the word, holier than all the saints, and named the unburnt bush by us unworthy ones, hearken unto the voice of supplication and hymnody, earnestly offered up before thy holy icon, by the fervent <laughs> prayer to the Lord deliver from, mer from temporal and eternal fire, us who praise thy name, glorify thy miracles, and sing unto thy Son and our God, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O all him, Mother, who gave us birth to the Word, holier than all the saints, and, then, and named the unburnt bush, by us unworthy ones, hearken unto our voice of supplication and hymnody, earnestly offered up before thy holy icon, by thy fervent prayer to the Lord, deliver from temporal and eternal fire, us who praise thy name, glorify thy miracles, and sing unto thy Son and our God. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O 
call him to mother who gave his birth to the word holier than all the saints and named the unburnt bush by us unworthy ones hearken unto our voice of supplication and hymnody earnestly offered up before thy holy icon by thy fervent prayer to the lord deliver from temporal and eternal fire us who praise thy name glorify thy miracles and sing unto thy son and our god alleluia 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 queen of the angels and of all creation o mistress lady theotokos who receivest tens of praise from the choir of angels on high vouchsafe us as well who are earthly and mortal to lift up to thee voices of praise and thanksgiving for thy many mercies to the human race. And if we are unworthy to him thee as is meet, yet, O thou who art good, do not disdain our inadequate praise. And as thy son mercifully accepted the widow's two mites, so also in thy loving compassion hearken unto us who cry to thee with contrition. Rejoice thou who despaired the divine fire within thy womb without being burnt. Rejoice thou who gave his birth to the Savior of fallen men. Rejoice thou who didst abolish the power of Hades by thy most pure birth giving. Rejoice thou who didst free Adam and Eve from the ancient curse. Rejoice thou who didst immaculately serve for the incarnation of the one of the Trinity. Rejoice thou who didst seedlessly give flesh to the Creator of heaven and earth. Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace, the unburned bush, who deliverest us from fiery conflagrations. To thee, the champion leader, most pure virgin Theotokos, who hast received joy from God, and who hast bestowed joy upon the Church of Christ, by the appearance of thy fiery icon, and thereby protectest the faithful from fiery conflagrations. We cry out in hymns of praise, O Mother of God, whom we have named the unburned bush, as one having invincible might and great mercy, hasten to the aid of those who are in need of thy protection and free from all dangers, those who cry to thee. Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace, the unburned bush, who deliverest us from fiery conflagrations. O most holy and most blessed Mother of our sweetest Lord Jesus Christ, we fall down before and venerate thy holy and most honorable icon, through which thou workest wondrous and most glorious miracles, Save us our dwellings from fiery conflagrations and lightning, heal us infirmities, and fulfill us every good petition of ours unto good. We humbly entreat thee, O most powerful protectress of our people, vouchsafe us, weak and sinful ones, thy maternal concern and kind solitude. Save and protect us, save and protect under the shelter of thy mercy, O mistress, this holy city, our whole Orthodox country, and all of us who fall down before thee with faith and love, who with tears and contrition entreat thine intercession. Yea, all merciful lady, bestow thy mercy upon us who are bestormed by many sins and have not the boldness before Christ the Lord to beseech him for mercy and forgiveness. But we bid thee, his mother according to the flesh, to consolate him do thou, O all good one, stretch forth thy God, receiving arms to him, and intercede for us before his goodness, entreating for us forgiveness of our offenses, a pious, peaceful life, a good Christian end, and a good answer at his dread judgment, especially in the honor of the fearsome visitation of God when our homes catch fire, or we are in fear of lightning accompanied by thunder, Manifest to us thy merciful intercession and mighty aid, that saved by thine all-powerful prayers to the Lord, we might escape the temporal punishment of God here and inherit to the 
the eternal blessing of paradise there, and with all the saints him the most honorable and magnificent name worshiped in Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and him thy great mercy toward us, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen.